Castells, or human towers, are one of Europe's most genuine and unique cultural displays. Under the motto of strength, balance, courage and good sense, castells are an excellent way of showcasing Catalonia to the world. Watching, or even better, taking part in a castells display is a thrilling experience that really highlights the individual and collective struggle for improvement. But why make castells? What makes these groups of people in costume clamber over each other like this? Why do they get so much pleasure from the goals they achieve? Castells are unique in the world. Their visual impact and excitement are accompanied by great showmanship. Each castell raised to traditional music is accompanied with the uncertainty as to whether it will be completed successfully or fall before it's completed. Castells are raised in a festive atmosphere, usually as part of the annual festivals held in Catalan villages and towns. In turn, a Tarragona contest is held every two years, the only time when castells are raised purely for the purpose of competing. The members of the coyes, or teams, that raise the towers are amateurs, and yet the castells require careful rehearsals in which dozens and even hundreds of people take part in order to happen. Castells originated in Vals, in the vicinity of Tarragona, northeastern Spain, at the end of the 18th century. At the turn of the 19th century, the Castells experienced a period of neglect during which they almost disappeared, but they resurfaced again in the 1920s. After the Franco dictatorship, the Castells experienced a boom that catapulted the festive tradition into its most popular period in over 200 years of history. The tradition spread to other regions of Catalonia and to other Catalan-speaking areas, such as the Balearic Islands. Since their origins, Castells have always been raised by Castelliers, but with help from other enthusiasts in the Piña, the human structure in direct contact with the ground and supporting the tower. The Coyes not only receive help from the public, they also help each other. Proof of the impact and popularity of Castells is that in the Catalan language, the expression fer piña has become synonymous with working together. Castells can be six, seven, eight, nine, or even ten levels high. <laughs> Apart from the piña, castells comprise the tronc, which is the structure of castelliers who climb up on top of each other. Castells are crowned by a pom de dalt, comprising three layers, the dosus, the achecador, and the enchaneta, made by children. The piña is the base of the castell, but some larger constructions have what is known as the folra, a second smaller piña on top of the first. Some of the taller castells even have a third piña, known as the manillas. Castells can be raised with one, two, three, four, or five people per level. There are other kinds of composite towers, such as the four with agulla, or needle, in which an internal pillar emerges as the four per level structure is dismantled. There are other less frequently seen constructions, such as the castells raised from below, in reverse, that is, beginning from the top and using strength to raise each level. The coyas were traditionally formed by men and were patterned on very specific social models. Nowadays, coyas are a faithful reflection of their social and cultural environments. The integration of women has been another decisive factor in attaining the excellent performance of today's castellers. The proportion of men, women and ages is now well balanced. Adults and children share rehearsals and performances, with each playing their own defined role. People from all walks of life and different places come together for a common purpose. To raise castells, the more complex and beautiful, the better. Along with the showmanship, passion, 
integration and diversity that characterize Castells, the values underpinning this activity are, above all, teamwork, effort, and the spirit of improvement. Castells are an activity that, to a large extent, remain faithful to a spirit and practices dating back 200 years. This link with tradition, however, does not imply that Castells have not been able to adapt to new times. This explains the incredible vitality they still show today. That is why Castells have been the subject of a number of scientific studies. This kind of research has led to designing special protective headgear worn by the youngest children. Nowadays, Castells are receiving major coverage in the media, with special weekly programs on public and private television and radio channels, as well as on other networks. Articles are written about them on a regular basis in daily newspapers, and they have their own specialist magazine on sale in newsagents. Castells have also achieved a major presence on the internet. Currently, Castells number close to 7,000. They're grouped into 54 coyas that raise around 16,000 castells per year. The view of castells held by Catalan society is highly positive, as a study conducted in 2007 shows. We now know that 98% of the Catalan population knows about castells, more than 96% see them as positive, and two out of three Catalans have seen them in person at least once. On the 17th of April, 2008, reflecting the feeling of Catalan society, which regards Castells as one of the most outstanding expressions of popular and traditional culture in Catalonia, the Parliament of Catalonia unanimously and solemnly declared their support for the Castells bid to be included on UNESCO's representative list of the world intangible cultural heritage. This broad social consensus endowed the Castellar movement with a fantastic social profile and an amazingly promising future. It is up to us all to attain even higher achievements. Yes! Yeah. 